really cool thing about a lot of the native instruments plugins, like our synthesizers here, is you can actually control them from a computer keyboard. So if you don't have a MIDI controller, or maybe you're working on a laptop, or you're working on something like a Surface, and you don't want to carry a MIDI controller with you, you can still work on the fly whenever you're using these instruments in standalone. Of course, you can do chords. And the way this works is it follows along just like a real uh, MIDI controller or a real keyboard. So here's C. Might go up. And that's our sharp. Just keep going up until we get here where there would be no sharp, just like on a real keyboard, just like as you can see on the screen. Just keeps going up. Now this row is all of your uh, black keys. Right? Then we have another octave up here. So we have C there, there's C there. And then more black notes up here. And if you hold down shift, that raises you up a couple octaves. So here's Z. If I hold on the Z, that's our low C here. But if I hold on shift, that takes us up there. Pretty cool. That's something that you know you may not know about. You can also cycle through your presets, by the way, with the up and down keys, which makes it really easy. Makes it really easy to you know go through. Cycle up and down. Makes it a real quick way to find what you want. Of course, this also works with, uh, we have a massive here. And we'll just try something here. Down shift. Find the new preset there. Of course, it will work with with absence too, among others. Let's just grab something here. You have to hit enter. Another thing you could do is use your up and down and left and right arrow keys, uh, click on a parameter, and then you can adjust that parameter by using your arrow keys. You can also use the uh, page up and page down button, and that will increment it by 10 or take it back by 10. And you can also use your home and end keys to go the full width of that parameter. All right, that's a pretty cool feature. And if it happens to not work for you, you may have your caps lock on. So caps lock is on now not doing anything. So if it doesn't work, just make sure caps lock is off. And you can use your computer keyboard, just like you would a MIDI controller to control your native instruments since.